Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Should I start? Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, so today my OP is going to be about the special day that is today. As you know, uh, as I, we have been talking about the 25th of November, and today is the, sorry, the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. So in my OP, I'm going to speak about four points. And the first one is about why do we have to commemorate this day year after year. The second one will be about the beginnings of the date. Then I will explain about something of the different uh, form of violence. And we will finish with a song related to the, to the topic. Okay? So the first question I would like to answer is why uh, is important this International Day? Why do we have to commemorate this day year after year? I think that we have listened in the news that mm, there are 49 women that have been killed this year in Spain mm, by their partners, their husband, boyfriends. So I think this is the first point to commemorate this day, but there are more points apart from this that I would like to, to remember you. Um, um, violence against women and, and girls is still a huge problem of global proportion. For instance, every year uh, we can find that there are a lot of uh, women that um, become victims of the trafficking to end being domestic, domestic, forced domestic, forced to marriage, or forced into the sex industry. This is not only a problem um, into undeveloped countries. We can find thousands of women in, in Europe that have this, this problem. In Spain, sometimes we can listen to some people that disagree with the commemoration of this day. Mm, there are people that say, I don't understand why we have to repeat again and again the same things, because they understand that nowadays there are no differences between women and men. But I'm going to list you some facts that, uh, in which we can see that the discrimination against women is uh, still a huge problem. So let's start seeing some of this information. The first one in which we can see the violence against women is in the human rights. In human rights. Human rights violation. Because there are, uh, I don't know if you can read, 700 million women or girls uh, are married in, as a children. From this information, 250 million were married before the age of 15. So this is one of the main points to know that we are against the human rights. A second point um, in which we can see violence against women is that there are still there are inequalities between men and women. According to the information given before, well, we can see that there are still uh, there are uh, women that uh, women that marry before the age of 18 are less likely to complete their education and they are more likely to have domestic violence at home if they are married before the age of 18. Maybe we can say, oh, in Spain mm, it's not usual, but we know that maybe in, in North, South of America, in Africa we can find, or in Asia we can find this kind of marriage. Another point is that as I uh, heard today in a, in a pupil, she said that it is impossible to, to change the mind of that kind of person because they, they live in, in a home that mm, is repeating again the same, the same acts. But I think the prevention is very important and we have to repeat this until we finish with this problem. And this is a terrible, I think it's a terrible uh, information that said that the 35% of women and girls all over the world have experience or is going to experience some kind of uh, violence during their life. That means for each three women, one is going to have or suffer some type of violence. So if we count um, women that were here, um, we can, I don't know, but we can say that some of you can have or can have had some violence. And the last point is that violence against women is a global pandemic. And this is another terrible uh, 
um, information, 133 million of women have experienced some genital mutilation in Africa in the 29 countries that are in Africa. Well, I don't know if you know, but I, um, I'm a teacher, so I like uh, numbers. So figures, figures, yes. So I have to look for more. Next one is one over four. One over four, one four is a fraction about the one fourth of women that uh, let's remember uh, have experienced some kind of violence during their pregnancy. Another figure is 303, um, 303 million of women. This is the number of women that live nowadays in countries countries in which the domestic violence is not a crime. It's not yet a crime. I think we can we can see in in South America, we can see in Africa, maybe in Asia. What about this one? Uh, Eight hundred thousand people, not women, people are people that are traffic uh, are around the borders of the countries. So from these people, eighty percent are women. So imagine eight thousand, eight hundred thousand people. Eight percent are women that are traffic around the borders, and from that women. 75% are used to the sex industry. About the 75% of the women, not the total. You understand what I mean? And I don't know if this, this figure is real, but it's the number of, of girls that are going to be missed due to the prenatal sex selection in a, in a future years. You what do you mean? Uh, I understand that this is nowadays with the scientific advances. Uh, we can choose the sex of our babies. Oh. So I th uh, it said that 100 million girls are going to be mixed due to this prenatal sex selection in the future. Okay, so this is the first part of the P. It's about why we have to commemorate this date year after year. And now, I don't know if you know why we celebrate this mm, day, this day, the 25th of November, and not other day. <coughs> Let's start. Uh, the first, mm, the first year that was considered this day was in 1981, in the first encounter of Latin American and Caribbean feminists that were held in Bogota, in Colombia. In that meeting, the women. Um, denounce gender violence, uh, domestic violence, rapes, they denounce um, different kind of violence. And in their minds were three women that were three sisters. They were the Mirabal sister. They were a political activists in the Dominican Republic. And they were killed in 1960, in that day. They, they, they live in the Trujillo dictatorship, so they form an anti-group from, from here. They, the group of, was called, I don't know if you, know if you know, the movement of the 14th of June, because in this day there was a massacre, a massacre. A massacre that was uh, done by this dictatorship. So they started to fight to look for the equality between women and men, and the 25th of November of 1960, the, the, the Trujillo supporters uh, killed them in a field beating her. But they fake a car accident to explain their life, their death, sorry. So in, in 1999, 16 years ago, the United uh, Nations uh, declared this day officially, so it's only 16 years ago that we have officially this, this year. This, there were four sisters, that day died only three. Um, they have appeared in some songs, in, in films, and also in some poems. And I have found one poem that I would like to, to recite. This poem is a memorial for the four brave Mirabal sisters. They risked their lives for their beliefs, friends and sisters. They chose their path. They chose the course. They went out to get the parts. It's downhill there. 
there's no chance or hope. They were beaten to death with no life or hope. They are today for their courage and bravery. One sister to tell their life, their love, their history. Three, three sisters gone, one to tell the tale. More sadness to for her, but she didn't fail. But we can see some monuments, um, some statues uh, to commemorate their, her, them. Sorry. Um, I don't know if you have any questions about this. Did you know about these three sisters? No. no? It's a the picture. butterflies. The butterflies. Yes, it's, it's true. The mari las mariposas or butterflies. Las they mariposas. Were, they were called at that name with this name. And the third point I would like to is a, like a small review is different types of violence and abuse that we can see in uh, our daily life. The first one is the physical, the physical violence. I think it's the most common when we use the word violence. We always, or mostly, we think in that physical violence, and it's when you take one part of your body or you take an object to hit somebody. The second, the second type is the sexual uh, violence. That is when you take or you force one person to have some sex or some sexual act with, act with you. Another type is the, that is really important, the psychological, Psycho. psychological <coughs> violence. That is when you cause some type of fear to control the other person. Sometimes it's difficult to, to understand this violence or to look for it, but it's, I think it's sometimes it hurts more than the, the uh, physical violence. Another one is, some, I think it's related, is the emotional violence. When some people uh, try to feel the other one a bit stupid or that you don't know how to do anything. And the last one is, it's an abuse. Uh, you were talking before like this with the Thailand, uh, Thailand women. And it's a cultural abuse, for example, the cultural. cultural abuse. For example, the Jiraf uh, women in the north of Thailand that are used to get some money to, to get their life. Mm. And I would like to finish this uh, small piece with a song. <coughs> it is a song related with the topic. The title is Brave. It is about um, that you must be brave, you can't be silent with this problem, you must speak. Uh, I would like mm, to listen it at twice at least. First one, we're going to see also the video clip, and then I have the lyrics here with small caps, with some mm, vocabulary. So first, if you like, we can see it once, and then we will repeat with the sheet, but not, not yet. <laughs> so, if you like, let's listen again. There's um, seven or eight gaps only. And um, let's take this, this one, okay? No? Okay. <laughs> so, that okay, is so great. So, if you like, we can check some of these words. The first one, do you have the, the third line? Outcast? Outcast, yes. Outcast. What is the meaning of outcast? You know it? Yes. <laughs> Don't ask me this question. <laughs> and you are in my group. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to, to speak English, okay? It's a person that is forgotten. There is uh, a person who is forgotten in what way? What What do you mean? Forgotten with all, by other people. Why would that be? 
for example, homeless or something? No, no, or no, no, no. no. You do not remember this person because <laughs> it's not worth to remember this person? Okay. It's not chosen. Is yes. it, it so one one or someone who has been expelled from the community or from the group? Yes, yeah. that's it. So, 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 wait a moment. So, when you mentioned the homeless, the homeless are outcasts. Yes, in society, yes. right? And I think Carmen wanted to say something too. Well, the person who is the odd one out. In a social sense, yeah, in society. The odd one out in society, right? Or like Nina was saying, not chosen. She, this person doesn't belong to the chosen ones, the ones that get all the benefits from society, right? How did you know, Yolanda? How did you know that good definition? I don't know, just came out of mind. Okay. <laughs> just like that, natural. <laughs> Excellent. And also there's a, a movie called The Outcast, right? Okay. Did you watch it with Tom Hanks? Nobody yeah. watched it? Tom no. Hanks? Tom Hanks. The yeah. Outcast? Yes. Misfits? Misfits. Outcasts yes. Yes. can be there misfits. for being misfits in society and it's a synonym in many... And in, in, in the films, there's the, the cast. cast and the outcast. There's a casting, there's the out, the cast, and if you are outcast, we're not going to call you. Okay, so that would be specialized English for English for the movies, yeah. for the movie industry, right? That would be, wow. Okay, so and the next one is just down this one. Backlash. Did you get backlash? Backlash. I was wondering, can you, can you write, all of you, including you, <laughs> who everybody's looking at, <laughs> can you try to write the phonemic transcription of these words? Can you all give it a try? <laughs> no. Continue with the words, and then I will, I will, I will write the phonemic transcription, so you can get acquainted with using these sounds, okay, for your transcriptions, okay. When we finish checking, I will write down the phonemic transcription. Do you know this backlash? It's like a violent answer to somebody because they, you can, or the be the backlash of somebody's lack of love. Lack of backlash. love. Backlash is like a violence answer. Remember when okay. before I said uh, counter reaction, and then I actually used the word. I said there's a backlash against feminism now. Mm -hmm. There's a backlash. There's a counter reaction. Shall we all go? Yeah. The okay. third one is speaking up. Speaking up. Speaking up. Speaking up. Okay. And the fourth? And how, how is speaking up different from speaking? How is it different? Louder, maybe? Or that every, every people can see that you are... Speaking? Or know your... Know your what you want to say? Louder is an idea for speaking up. The other idea which is connected is that you actually speak, okay? That you do not keep silent, that you actually speak out or you speak up, right? You stand and you express your, your feelings, your ideas. And the fourth one? The fourth one. Did you get it? In, 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 in. I got in. What? No? Beneath. 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 I got in. <laughs> oh my god. Beneath very, your skin. That very, very fast. Very fast, right? It's inside your skin. Yeah, beneath is, yes, under. 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 Yes, exactly. Beneath. 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 Okay, here, you caught me. I've got okay. a mistake. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about the, the, the fifth one?
Uh, no, wait, 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 wait there, people. What's the next one? Fall out. Okay, you know what I wrote? Flow out. I, then I realized that it couldn't be because she says that many times, right? But at first I thought it was flow, flow out. And then I paid more attention. Yeah. Fall out. Fall out. It's in all the songs. <laughs> yes. That was to check our strategies, right? <laughs> to check our strategies. Mm. The next one is don't run, stop holding your tongue. 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 Okay. And maybe there is a way out of cage. 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 And then we have uh, innocence, your. And the last one is but empty. 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 I can you spell tongue too so I can transcribe it later? Okay. O N G U E. Excellent. Um, that's it. Do you want to listen? <laughs>